Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dana Palooza. My guest at this time is Ashley America. Hey. Hey, Dan. How's it going? It's going good. Um, so tell me, Ashley, um, what is the best part of being a professional wrestler? The best part? Um, I don't know. It's just... I'm, I'm going to tread the line of being controversial and bring the little kayfabe aspect. But for me, it's, you know, it's just an all encompassing, awesome performance art. You get to do um, choreographed stunt fighting. You get to tell a story. You get to develop a character, come up with their wardrobe, you know, come up with your entrance. So it's just like very, very creative and fun and there's nothing else like it so that's why <laughs> that's why i love it <laughs> so how did you come up with the name for ashley america um it, well I, I i i'm actually changing my name oh <laughs> yeah, i'm going by all natural ashley now or just ashley but um i came up with that name because of some friends so Someone just had me in their cell phone as Ashley America, and I liked the way it sounded. And it's like that could be a fun wrestling name. I don't know. <laughs> um, what is uh, with the change to moving forward to all natural, Ashley? Um, well, people always thought that I did a patriotic character, and um, I didn't. I just was like, well, why couldn't that just be someone's last name? But you know, everyone just assumed that I was doing like the stars and stripes Lady Liberty thing. And that wasn't really the case. I just was like, why can someone's name be America? And I like alliteration and, you know, it's easy to remember. But um, yeah, I wanted to change it because of that and just kind of like, I don't know, you have to keep your your image fresh and be able to change what you're doing and um, stay relevant and so as a way of to reinvent yourself yeah so talk about your performance background uh in the fine arts um well um i am a, a painter and a drawler but that's not really performing um i started i guess originally playing music and i sang in choir when I was younger and in school, um, I did marching band in college too. So, um, <laughs> cool band hat. There you go. <laughs> I get to go backwards from the reverse image. It's actually a little too small for my head, but I found this at an antique store. <laughs> it works. So, yes, it's good. It's just an everyday hat. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time putting it on straight backwards. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I, th I think it looks really cool on me. And um, yeah, I, I might have done like a church play or something at church camp, Lutheran camp when I was young. But other than that, um, not really a whole lot of like solo performing experience. So when I started training, I actually was like, I'm just gonna learn how to wrestle and not do shows. <laughs> you can't really do that because you know like a huge part of it is the crowd reaction and the interaction and everything so you can't really like get the whole experience without doing it in front of a crowd and yeah yeah is it an interesting aspect for you for doing a show where you have sometimes multiple runs of performances and people see you and you can always you know change anything to your character to when you're doing a wrestling show it's a one shot deal you know where everybody sees you perform that night um i don't know i feel like i'm always changing stuff <laughs> like, i have a lot of ideas I've I've done quite a few characters. I don't know if you're aware of um, the origins of when I started out as an Amish girl. I've heard I, about it. <laughs> yeah, did a few other things. So um, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas, and then sometimes they start mashing together, and 
think I need to get a little better at focusing sometimes and picking one thing and committing to it. Because as I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, this could be a fun thing to do. This could be a fun thing to do. <laughs> you know? It's blended together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was, um, I think I'm just going to like try to be myself now. I was doing that uh, wilderness girl thing and it's, some people were getting it and some people weren't. I don't know. I'm always trying to think outside of the box of like what a normal character would be. But it's funny. I mean, I didn't choose the the Amish character, but I've seen like three Amish wrestlers recently. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> So, uh, with the way that women's wrestling is progressing, and now that women can hold uh, different titles, uh, such as we looked at um, Jacqueline holding the men's cruiserweight in WWE, China holding the intercontinental title in WWE, and Tessa Blanchard holding the Impact uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, what does that mean uh, to you to see these different women hold these different titles? I think it's awesome. Like, it's, sorry. Women's wrestling has come such a long way since I started. So it's like, you know, so many opportunities. And, you know, um, when I started, like, people were pretty mean about me wrestling. <laughs> And, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was held back a lot because of my gender and told that I couldn't be a wrestler. So, um, yeah, it's it's good. I mean, it's been almost a decade. So it's good to see that change. You are an amazing wrestler, and I'm proud of everything that you've accomplished. And you're just going to continue to be great. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. Does. Everybody, that was Tilly, my cat, that jumped in a few minutes ago. <laughs> she was uh, lonely. <laughs> um, Do you just have one cat? Yeah, I just have the one cat. But um, it's interesting is uh, Tilly does like wrestling. And Tilly has been known to hit me with a crossbody off the top of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her Mountain Dew and she'll take her father out for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have um well i actually have three cats but i have a male and a female and they i got them together as kittens they're not siblings but they wrestle each other like like they circle <laughs> and they'll like walk up and tussle and stuff and then they like back apart and look at each other and like circle around again it's really <laughs> funny I don't, I don't know where they got it from, but... <laughs> there's no belt on the line. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, just the, the little birdie toy that they like to play with. Or, I don't know. Sometimes it gets a little too real, but for the most part, it's like fun play wrestling. Oh, yeah. She likes to try and hold the cup like a person. That's her new thing. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't realize she doesn't have thumbs and it falls. <laughs> Cats are nuts. Oh, oh, one second. Do you mind if somebody yes. just. Hey, Bob. Oh, so this is my big boy, Ziggy Stardust. Aw. Hey, bed. Stardust. But he's a Nibelung cat, which is basically <laughs> just like a, a long haired Russian blue. But yeah. He, Do you he like. Um, be in the bathroom with people and get a little too close and personal and um, yeah he's a cuddler he's a mama's boy <laughs> <laughs> and he really likes coconut oil oh okay it, which is kind of interesting I think but yeah. yeah Tilly loves Dairy Queen ice cream that's her new kick <laughs> What's her flavor? Uh, she wants the chocolate, but she can't have it. So <laughs> yeah. she, she'll be like, meow, meow, and I'll be like, it's 2 a.m. Dairy Queen's not open. <laughs> 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 
we have to get the Hagen dazs out of the fridge, right? <laughs> I guess I'll settle. <laughs> but um, she likes vanilla or cookie dough. Aww. <laughs> so, awesome. um, do you still love singing and doing musicals? Um, I mean, I haven't really done anything official. I work um, in theater backstage, or at least like I used to. Haven't done any theater in a year and a half because of COVID. COVID. Yeah, but um, I like working on musicals and stuff, and seeing all the the sets and the costumes and everything is cool. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> He jumped <laughs> on the side of the closet and was just hanging there. I don't know what he was trying to do. Did he catch chin ups? Um. <laughs> um, do you have a few favorite musical? A favorite musical? Um, I don't know. I was. I don't know. Um, West Side Story is a good one. Oh yeah, that's a very good classical. I've always wanted to see Wicked. Oh, I've um, seen Wicked. We played it in, in marching band. It was our field show my senior year of high school. So um, played some songs on my clarinet, but uh, and I've I've loaded it in at the Hippodrome Theater here in Baltimore, and it looks really cool, but I have yet to see it. I saw it in Chicago uh, a couple years ago, nice. and I loved it. I always love the chorus and everything. Like I like when they go hunting for the witch hunters, and uh, I still love Defying Gravity, but I always like the secondary characters as opposed to the main characters. I started trying to read the book and it, it was like pretty strange in the first couple of pages. <laughs> I don't what know. is this? <laughs> yeah, I, like, uh, I mean, the, the original Wizard of Oz books are like pretty intense too. I oh yeah. I read those. They're like, like nightmare material. But I guess like the Wizard of Oz movie is pretty, um, you know, it's in its day, like, um, you know, the flying monkeys and stuff were pretty scary and it was very innovative movie. So, but not, not as scary as the books, I don't think. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's very tame compared to the books. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it was interesting because last night my other guest talked about Hocus Pocus and that was her favorite. Aww, that's a good one. <laughs> And we talked about favorite Hocus Pocus characters. And I always enjoyed Billy, the zombie. The uh, actor Doug Jones plays a lot of characters. Yeah, Billy the zombie is a good one. <laughs> that's, that's definitely like a favorite Halloween go-to. But you can just watch it anytime because it's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watch it sometimes in January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll on you. It's a good one. <laughs> Did you know that um, Bette Midler had in her contract um, a deal to have her shoes in one shot? That was in her contract. Like, no. she wasn't going to do that unless her shoes were in the shot. Why? She just wanted that in there. And um, uh, mm -hmm. in the when she says, I'm a spell on you, when her feet are going across, that's the little shot that she got. Oh, she just really liked her shoes? Yeah, she just really <laughs> wanted that in there. <laughs> That's funny. I I'll have the next time I watch it, I'll pay attention to how her shoes look. Are they, are they like really cool shoes? Oh yeah, I mean they're pointy and everything. I just never understood the shot. I'm like, why are we showing feet? You know, the the shoes going across. And then when I saw that, I go, makes sense. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's what's the last musical that you were in? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's been a while. Um, 
trying to think because I did uh, murder mystery shows and I was always the guy who got killed. So um, let me think. I think it was uh, 1776, and that's about signing the Constitution, and um, it's about the founding forefathers, and we signed the Constitution and uh, make the Bill of Rights, and it was in July. Uh. It, it was outside. It was hot. I was Ooh. wearing colonial attire in a wig. <laughs> oh, yucky. And, uh, that's I rough. Just, remember like the choreography i had to like stand up sit down stand up and sit down that was like all the singing like up down up down up down up down oh my gosh <laughs> and um i just remember i liked my jacket i'll have to show you it was gold it was very regal like and i'm like i think i was like the delegate of new hampshire i go hmm must be fine living in New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But uh, that was one of them that I did. And then um, in the summertime. Oh, yeah. And the thing was, it was at um, a fort that they do all this like kind of reenactment. And we were supposed to have the fire, the cannon off. But someone was doing a reenactment and like the cannon went off early. Like we we're just like in the hall and shaving your hair. Boom, and we're like, huh? <gasps> The war is still going on, you know, just, <laughs> trying, to, just trying to like ad lib or something. And <laughs> sometimes you'd hear it go off, or sometimes it'd be late, and you'd be like, <laughs> "Do they do they train or did you take theater lessons or did you just kind of hop in?" Oh yeah, when I was a kid, I was a, I was a ham. I always wanted to be an actor. I watched Aladdin, and I would do Robin Williams lines over and over. <laughs> um, right. When I was a, a kid, uh, the first play I did, um, my eyebrow actually fell off and <gasps> I tried to put it back on. And unfortunately I had like this, like I had a raised eyebrow and like a normal one and like, oh, no. <laughs> looked like I was inquisitive for the show, you know? <laughs> 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 and like, nobody told me till afterwards cause it was hilarious. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then uh, I did a church play when I was little too. And uh, I remember doing that. And then I sang a Kuna Matata on stage. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And I did all the little voices and everything. And I remember I beat the kids uh, that sung Sandman, Into the Sandman Metallica. They're like in fourth grade and their voices were still very high pitchy. You know? <laughs> nice. And it didn't go as well as mine did. <laughs> you picked but, something. <laughs> oh yeah because I, I just remember hearing that but yeah then i got into more shows uh joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coat was my first show oh, and that's then a good one. oh yeah um my mom saw it down in chicago with donny osmond so she enjoyed that and then uh we always saw shows like phantom of the opera that's oh, one of my yeah, favorites my first Broadway. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, it is? Yes. What, it was my yeah. first Broadway musical. I've only seen two on Broadway, but yeah. I was in elementary school and the big chandelier comes down on you and we were like right in the front section and we didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love the song Masquerade. Masquerade. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also want to let our viewers know if you see Ashley at a show, make sure pick up some merchandise like this yeah Just pick it up <laughs> she'll sign it for you <laughs> so do that Thank you. um and follow ashley at all natural ashley on twitter uh is the facebook page going to get a um an update from ashley america to all natural ashley i i am trying to um facebook wants you to have a real name on your Facebook page, even though Ashley America is obviously not a real name, when I it, down, it was like, nope. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to work on that and see how I can uh, trick it into thinking it's a real name. And uh, if you have any ideas, okay, <laughs> I can help you. I can help you. Thanks. Um, <laughs> 
But uh, and then she'll be having some new T-shirts also available too. She's working on. I'm gonna get some new T-shirts. I'm gonna get some new pictures with my new hair. <laughs> There'll be none with the hat, though. That's not. <laughs> I mean, I might. I might. I've got a lot across my head. Got to fix the hat now. Well, <laughs> well, it's been a blast and a pleasure talking to you, uh, Ashley. Um, do you have any other uh, final comments or things you want to plug before we wrap it up? Um. I don't think so. Um, thank you very much for having me on. And I just want to say that Dan is one of my favorite people to see at a wrestling show. Um, he's just an awesome person and an awesome fan and always appreciate having you around. And, and thank you for having me today. I really am flattered. Oh, you're thank welcome. You. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> uh, make sure you put on some sunscreen. Oh, I will. My my tan's coming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Bye.